This is not a joke and this is not a drill. Our governor, Connor Wickliner, is sick. I repeat, Connor Wickliner is sick. Now we don't know what the cause of the illness is, nor do we know if it was done by someone. It could be an inside job, it could be an outside job. It could even be done by a terrorist organization working against the government, but we have no idea. More on this story later, but now, for your regularly scheduled program. Hi, my name is Robert Smith, and this is the SportsCast. Yesterday afternoon, Randolph took on Gilmore and Calhoun in sand volleyball. Monroe faced Webster in court volleyball, and in softball, Marion took on Kanawha. Panhandle faced Lewis in ultimate frisbee, and Upshur faced Braxton in basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday the fire department got a new surprise. Pleasant surprise. Take a look. Grab the nozzle, grab the nozzle. Don't tangle it up. There you go. That's, get behind him, get behind him, you guys. Going in without scary. you. Go, go, go. Steel department. Go on. So we're here with the fire department. Uh, we are with. I'm Gage Miller. I'm one of the OES uh, instructors here. Uh, works with the kids. How are you doing today, sir? I'm um, pretty good. We're having a pretty productive day. So, is this fire truck a new thing to Boise State? Yes, uh, this year uh, is the first year the fire truck's been here. Uh, we haven't had it in the past. We've been working towards getting it. Um, we got it just to make the experience better for the boys here at Boise State. Right. I'm sure it does. It looks amazing. How did you guys get it? So, um, this is a 1981 Ford F600. Um, it was donated by my department, which is in Grant Town in Marion County. Uh, it was just an old truck that was sitting outside, didn't use it anymore. It's been sitting there for probably two years. I approached our membership and asked them to donate it to me for the camp and everything. And they were kind enough to donate it to us for the use down here, and then I'll be keeping it and maintaining it. That is correct. My grandma can run faster than that. Let's go. Go. We have a new segment in our news called Man on the Street. Our reporters Nick and Jacob are out interviewing some fellow campers about some thoughts that they might have. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Uh, my name is Maximus Hilton. I stay at uh, Harrison Cottage and I'm a Talbot Bank. So Maximus, um, how's camp been so far? You made it to Wednesday. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. You know, I, I enjoyed the uh, convention and the debates last night. Uh, that was really cool how we uh, kind of got to uh, run it ourselves. Gotcha. So, um, a lot of people have their different favorite parts, a lot of people have their favorite jobs. What's your favorite part um, about Boys State Camp? My favorite part will probably be the uh, freedom to kind of like step in like, you know, an adult um, like form of mind and aspect that we kind of do things ourselves. You know, I, I, got, I got to go to my job by myself, you know, I got to be there on time. Uh, being able to like kind of run things as our own government is probably my favorite part. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a good rest of the week. Too. Hello, citizens. I'm Jerry Wood, first year counselor with Lewis County. Extremely thrilled and proud to be here, a part of Mountaineer Boys State. Hi, Jerry. Well, first off, thanks for doing the interview, and uh, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. All right, so this being your first year in camp, um, how
how, how have you felt about the first couple of days of camp? What's, what's kind of your reaction to it? Vic, this was the most inspiring week that I've had in years. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here and be a part of it and being working with all of you young men and helping be a part of your transformation into adulthood. It's Amazing. fantastic. Yeah, it seems like a very special thing. All right, so Jerry, he's actually one of my counselors here at Lewis. Um, if you could teach every young man in our cabin and throughout, throughout the camp um, one life lesson or one thing that they should take with them back home, um, so they can help spread throughout the community. What's one thing that you want us as, uh, as kind of campers to learn? I think respect is very important. And that's not only to others, but to yourself. If you're, if you're a respectful young man and uh, you, you adhere to that at all times, it will open up doors to many, many other opportunities uh, because it will reflect in your character and your values and others will see that and uh, think highly of you as an individual and so if you if you when you go away from camp and uh, you go back to your communities it's important that all of you pass that on to your friends to your family and and you do that through your actions not so much through your words so always always live your life with respect for yourself and others all right. Well, Jerry, thank you for the interview. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Next little words of wisdom. Here's to awesome. a great Thanks, rest of the week. Awesome. You too. I am your state treasurer, and this is... Uh, I'm Sahil Dabe. I'm your state auditor. Dave. Um, okay, well, this is Randolph. And um, basically, what we're here to talk about is the fact that we now have a new thing that will be coming as of tomorrow night. We have an auction that will occur for which properties like this, this is the WVU building, there are two others, one of which is the enormous open field between all the cottages, and there's also the mill, you know, which includes like the pond, uh, you know, the general store, all of those things, they will be auctioned off so you can buy them as your property, and then you can essentially issue taxes if people, you know, cross into that property and such, and that's a tremendous way for you to make money in the process. And I'll let Randolph talk about what you should do to prepare for the auction. In order to be, in order to participate in the auction, you need to go down to the bank, not very far from this beautiful building, and get yourself a loan. This loan will be used in the auction to purchase these properties. Then, after you bid and won the auction, come and see me to give me the money, and then the secretary, yeah, the secretary of state to receive your deed. Exactly. So we'd encourage you to take out as much as possible, uh, you know, because I'm sure the bids will go up quite high. So take out as much as possible, as much as you would like, but do it ASAP, because like I said, the auction will be occurring tomorrow, tomorrow evening at the assembly, within the assembly hall. So be prepared for that, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun.